Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guest is Kyla Fowler, Miss Black Missouri 2019. Uh, such a pleasure to have you in studio, and congratulations to you on your graduation from Hair Stowe yes. back in the spring, back in May, as well as moving on to the Miss Black USA pageant in D.C. I want to kind of get to know you a bit more, and for people watching us, obviously, to know your story. I mean, we see you here with this beautiful <laughs> crown on your head. Clearly, you've done a lot of right things and done a lot of things well so far in your life, but tell us a bit about your your background are you from here in st louis yes i'm from st louis missouri born and raised um actually from hazelwood missouri a lot of people think i'm from the city because i i guess my accent <laughs> but no <laughs> your accent, but hazelwood yes. just that those miles make a difference yes. right um my mother is a registered nurse and she has inspired me to become a geriatric doctor Okay, so you want to go into medicine yes. to get your MD, and you want to go into geriatric medicine. Yes. That's, I mean, that's really commendable because that's an area that there's a shortage mm -hmm. of doctors. Why, why geriatric medicine, that specialty? I always knew that I wanted to be in the medical field, but one day I was taking care of my grandmother, and she told me, she was like, Kyla, I'm sorry I can't take care of you anymore. And I was like, but it's my time to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And that's when everything just died on me. I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. yes. No, that's really neat. I know <laughs> in some of the material I was reading about you, it says that you've never known a stranger. Do you sort of make it a point to, to make <laughs> friends with people yes. and kind of go out of your way? What, what, where does that come from? Everyone says that I have this light about me, that I attract so many people. And a lot of people just want to come for me to get a hug or get advice or even strangers. Mm -hmm. And I just always make a make them know that I'm listening. Because mm -hmm. I know everyone needs someone to listen. Mm -hmm. Who would you say, uh, uh, you mentioned your grandmother, obviously. Who are some of your inspirations uh, currently, or even growing up when you were <laughs> looking around in the world around you and in school, uh, when you were learning about, you know, just about the world, about things in your classes? Who have your inspirations been? I honestly just take a different piece out of everyone. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're always happy and <laughs> ready, and I could take that from you. Hmm. That's a good no, and that's a yes. really good thing to to a, a really interesting point to make, which is that we have something to learn from mm -hmm. everyone, don't we? Regardless of who who they are, it's it's significant. We should say. I know this. Um, we've kind of hit. I know on the national pageant level where there's three. Uh, mm -hmm. African-American females who are on the national pa pageant level, which is a really uh, remarkable thing uh, currently that we're going through. When you were growing up and looking around, I mean, what do you want other young girls, specifically young African-American girls, to know and to think? I asked you something similar in the first segment, but when they're learning about this pageant and just in general, where do you want them and what do you want them to know in terms of uh, having strength and courage and, and just the ability to move forward? What do you want them to think about and, and in your life especially? I want them to know that this pageant is not only for me, but it's also for them. It's for every black woman that is have low self-esteem or have everyone yelling at them saying, why are you like this or why are you so bitter? I want them to know that we're not like that and mm -hmm. we're trying to redefine what it means to become a black woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, when you go onto the site, and I mean just beautiful women like yourself with just so many accomplishments when you see from each uh, from each state. Uh, have you had a chance to, do you communicate before? Yes. Oh, you have. Uh -huh. So who have you had a chance to meet or communicate with? I have with? talked to Miss Illinois from Facebook and I also went to one of her events as well. Oh, okay. So there's, are there events before you, you've had, you have events before the national competition? They try to. And I'm also going to the walk that's on Thursday as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's, tell me about the walk. Um, the walk, she was just on here, actually. I forgot her name, but she gave me Oh, her for car. the what? Oh, yes. got it, got it, got it. Oh, you're going for the, for the white. Yes, I told her how it. there. <laughs> Listen, we love to make connections here at the station. Yes. Listen, I want to wish you uh, the best of luck when you head to D.C. I know this is a really big deal, and you have a chance to win a lot of money, and you're going to have that poise and composition when you're there. And I just wish you the best of luck in D.C., and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, well, we've got the information there for you on the screen. You can visit visit MissBlackUSA.org, that's the website, to learn about the 34th annual Miss Black Missouri competition. This is the first and oldest scholarship pageant for women of color in the country, awarding over $500,000 in scholarships 
since 1985. And like Kyla, 80% of this year's contestants are in graduate or professional school. And there's also three practicing attorneys, a really outstanding group of women, including Kyla. And we're just so proud of you representing St. Louis and representing Missouri. All right, well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.